Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial. Today we are focusing on the Avoni Kanban component in Salesforce. So this fantastic component is part of the Avoni Components Manage Package, which, which gives you access to 60 amazing components to enhance your Salesforce user experience. What is the Avoni Kanban component? It's a clear visual map of your work. It turns tasks into cards or a board where it's easy to track progress. It's user-friendly. It's also fully customizable, allowing you to make changes that fits best your needs. Let me show you how it looks like on Salesforce. So that's an example of the Avonic Kanban component built uh, with no code, fully customizable. And here on that example, I'm using the listing custom objects I, I just created. As you can see, each card is one listing, and that's easy for me to drag a card to change the status of this link of the listing and get information saved in real time on my Salesforce. So let me show you how to build that in Flow Builder as a screen flow and how to fully customize the Avoni Kanban component. So let's start by creating a new flow and select screen flow. The first thing we need to do is to create a get records collection to fetch the related information from my Salesforce. So get listing. That's my listing custom object. I don't have any condition. I just want to have access to all records. Perfect. Now let's dive into the screen flow. Let's configure the screen flow. I want my screen flow to act like a custom component, so I don't want to have like a header or a footer. Next step is to drag the Avoni component part of the the Avoni Kanban component part of the Avoni components package. Drag the Avoni Kanban, and from there, let's na name Kanban component. And now let's open the component builder to fully customize our Kanban. Perfect. So the first setting we have here is the variant. If you want to have like the base variant of the Kanban or the path, which is to have like a path, a progress bar displaying or grouping information by a specific field. Then we have settings like header. So let's say uh, we'll state. Listing. Let's select an icon. Is join. So I will have like this little bar. And, and then we can have action button. Let's name it new. Perfect. Next, next settings now. It's the data source. To build a Kanban, we link, we need to link the Kanban with the data source. So we select the get records collection and just uh, listed, uh, just created with you before, do the mapping, group by field name. So that's why uh, that's important because we are using a path variant. So we need to group by status. And uh, now I can see the path. Subgroup field name, we don't need that for now. Summarize field. So that's useful if you want to summarize the total, let's say total amount for each category. So let's select amount. Then if we want, we can also add filters. So let's say we want to filter by category. We want to filter by status as well. Then we have settings for the card attributes. So the first one is the cover image. If you want to add an image here, so you can, you just need to select the field picture right there. Then the title, here it's the listing name for my case. You can also linkify, which is basically setting a link to the record page automatically. Then you have, you can also add more details like description, start date, due date, fields. So let's say you'd like to highlight some specific fields. Uh, let's say the amount, status as well and uh, also maybe the category. If you have a date, you can also 
add a start date or due date, for example. And description field, that's also possible. So here, I was playing with, I am playing with the fields. We can now customize the field attributes. So the field attributes, it's if you want to show the label inline or stacked. I prefer inline for this use case. Perfect. So next useful setting is colon order direction. So basically, if you want to change the order of the column, each column, you have default, ascending order, descending, and custom. Custom, it's extremely interesting because you can move a column for your specific order. And you can even, if needed, we move a column if you don't want to display or show a specific column. Then you have search engine if you want to make items searchable right there. Filtering as well, you have filtering option, display as popover. If you don't, don't want to display multiple filters. And then item action, if you want to create your own action on items. Speaking of action, here we have one other action. If you want, you can also add um, item action for specific action on the current item. So let's make this new action working. And that's where I'm going to select the interaction type to make sure that my button, when I, my users are pressing this new button, it will trigger an interaction. So here it's the new header action. So here I will add a header action, select the target name, which is the new button, and select the type of interaction. You have various type of interactions available. Here I will select navigate to let the users navigate to the object page because I want them to create a new record. Then which object? So we we'll just select the custom object and action name, it's new. Perfect. The same if you want to create an interaction on item drop. Let's say you're dropping an item right there and you want to save that interaction. You need to click on item drop to select an interaction. And the interaction you need to set up its update records. That's it. And with this interaction, the information will be automatically saved. Finally, you can click on style to customize the look and feel. So let's say header, I like to add a background color. You can add background color. If you want to customize other things, uh, that's, it's there. The same pull to boundary, left and right, and top. Perfect. So I think I'm pretty much done with my Kanban configuration. Let's save that and activate the flow. Okay, save and activate the flow. Perfect. Now let's go on my record page or home page to drag this flow into the page. So here I want to add the screen flow with the Avoni Kanban on that page. Edit page to go on the Lightning App Builder. I will drag the flow component. And now I just need to select my flow. Save. Change. Go back. And you can see the flow the screen flow with the Avonic Kanban we just built. And we can move any listing to get the information automatically updated with the summarized amount that is automatically calculated. So that's how you can use and build with no code, configure with no code, the Avonic Kanban component into your screen flow to really enhance the Salesforce user experience. Let me know if you have any comment, feedback, uh, leave a comment on the video, uh, on the comment section just below. Thank you very much.